Now we'll learn how to solve modulus inequalities. First, it's the modulus of ax plus b greater than or less than c. We know if x modulus is greater than a, where a is positive, then x is either greater than a, or x is less than minus a. If x modulus is less than a, then x is between minus a and a. For example, solve the modulus of 2x minus 1 is less than 3. We know 2x minus 1 is between minus 3 and 3. Add 1, and we get 2x is between minus 2 and 4. Divide 2, and we get the solution as x is between minus 1 and 2. Solve the modulus of 2x minus 1 is greater than 3. 2x minus 1 is greater than 3, or less than minus 3. So 2x is greater than 4, or less than minus 2. So the answer is x greater than 2, or x less than minus 1. Solve the modulus of 2x plus 1 is less than 5. 2x plus 1 is between minus 5 and 5. Subtract 1, and we get 2x is between minus 6 and 4. Divide 2, and we get the solution as x is between minus 3 and 2. The second type of inequality is the modulus of ax plus b is greater than the modulus of cx plus d. We can solve this by squaring both sides. For example, solve the modulus of 2x minus 1 greater than the modulus of x minus 2. Square both sides, we get 2x minus 1 squared greater than x minus 2 squared. Change it to 2x minus 1 squared minus x minus 2 squared greater than 0. Factorize it into, 2x minus 1 plus x minus 2, times, 2x minus 1 minus x plus 2, greater than 0. This is 3x minus 3 times x plus 1 greater than 0. It is a quadratic inequality. We need to solve it by sketching. The quadratic term is 3x squared, so the parabola opens upwards. Therefore, the answer is x greater than 1 or x less than minus 1. Solve the modulus of 3x plus 4 less than the modulus of 2x minus 1. Square both sides, we get 3x plus 4 squared less than 2x minus 1 squared. Change it to 3x plus 4 squared minus 2x minus 1 squared less than 0. Factorize it into, 3x plus 4 plus 2x minus 1, times, 3x plus 4 minus 2x plus 1, less than 0. This is 5x plus 3 times x plus 5 less than 0. It is a quadratic inequality. We need to solve it by sketching. The quadratic term is 5x squared, so the parabola opens upwards. Therefore, the answer is x between minus 5 and minus 3 over 5. The third type of inequality is the modulus of ax plus b is either greater or less than cx plus d. One side has modulus and the other doesn't. We solve this by sketching the graphs. For example, solve the modulus of 3 minus 2x is less than x plus 2. We sketch the graphs and find the intersections first. The modulus of 3 minus 2x is 3 minus 2x when x is less than 3 over 2. So 3 minus 2x equals x plus 2. The first intersection is x equals a third. The modulus of 3 minus 2x is 2x minus 3 when x is greater than 3 over 2. So 2x minus 3 equals x plus 2. The second intersection is x equals 5. We see from the graph that the green line is above the orange line between the two intersections. So the answer is x between a third and 5. If the inequality sign in the question is flipped, then the answer is x less than a third, or x greater than 5. Solve the modulus of 3 minus 2x is greater than 3x plus 2. We sketch the graphs and find the intersections first. The modulus of 3 minus 2x is 3 minus 2x when x is less than 3 over 2. 
So 3 minus 2x equals 3x plus 2. The first intersection is x equals a fifth. The modulus of 3 minus 2x is 2x minus 3 when x is greater than 3 over 2. So 2x minus 3 equals 3x plus 2. Therefore x equals minus 5. But this is less than 3 over 2, so it's not a valid solution. Therefore, there's only one intersection. And it is one fifth. We see from the graph that the orange line is above the green line on the left of the intersection. So the answer is x less than a fifth. In this class, we learned. If x modulus is greater than a, then x is either greater than a or less than minus a. If x modulus is less than a, then x is between minus a and a. For the modulus of ax plus b greater than the modulus of cx plus d, we square both sides. And then factorize and solve the quadratic inequality by sketching. For the modulus of ax plus b greater or less than cx plus d, we sketch both graphs. Find the intersections, which could be one or two. And find the parts that satisfy the inequality.